Hi everyone, my name is Bupesh and welcome to our channel Optometric Goals. In this video, we will learn about the how to determine the cylindrical meridian in the retinoscopy. If you like the video, please do like, subscribe and share for our videos. So, let's start. As in the previous video, we learned about the what is retinoscopy with the endogenous pigment and how to neutralize the spherical meridian. In this video, we learned how to determine the cylindrical meridian in the retinoscopy. For example, this is patient's eye. We put the slit here, retinoscopic slit here. First, you have to check in all meridian where the slit is fine you have to neutralize that meridian first simply you put the slit here now for example if you see you check whole meridian and you find that reflex here is finest this is the condition when you put the slit on the patient eye you put the slit here and you see the reflex like this this is the finest reflex you find in the whole meridian now first you have to new move the slit in the direction of the reflex in the direction of the reflex now you have to simply neutralize this meridian first when you neutralize this meridian now you have to move this slit 90 degree apart this is slit you have to move in this direction 90 degree apart now this is like this you neutralize this meridian now you move the slit 90 degree and simply you found that there is a movement what is the in the cylindrical patient they have the power in two different meridian first you neutralize one meridian now you rotate the slit into the 90 degree apart and you found that there is also movement you just simply neutralize it with the another uh, power or the trial lens and this when both the meridian is neutralized you get the power and now yeah, there is no movement this is called neutral the most important thing is the in the retinoscopy in the cylindrical power you have to find exact meridian exact fine meridian where the reflex is the finest in the meridian you have to find so that you get the exact angle what is the angle 90 180 it may be anything for example you uh, find the slit in the 90 degree neutralize first neutralize this at 90 meridian and then move 90 degree apart at 180 meridian neutralize both meridian and you will get the cylindrical power of the retinoscopy now how to how to for example we have a patient you put the trial frame to the patient when you and now you start retinoscopy for the cylindrical now for example this is uh, we put the retinoscopic slit and you start you check all the meridian first you have to check all the meridian Wait. for example this is patient eye now you put the slit here retinoscopic slit on the patient eye and you have to check where the reflex is the finest you check in all meridian where the reflex is finest for example at this meridian you found that reflex is very finest for example at this meridian you find reflex is finest yes, this is our slit now simply what you have to do you have to neutralize in this meridian first like the spherical how we neutralize the spherical meridian you have to neutralize in this meridian now you neutralize for example this with the sphere this neutral uh, merit this meridian is neutralized with for example plus 3.75 you put in the time frame 3.75 and neutralize in this meridian. now you have to rotate the slit 90 degree apart 
this is the slit at 90 degree apart at this meridian okay for example at this meridian you move the slit at 90 degree apart now you have to neutralize in this meridian with the cylindrical power for example here the movement is uh, against movement you found the against movement here and you neutralize it with the cylinder so you have to put the cylinder in this direction example this is now at this meridian you have to neutralize this First you neutralize the spherical meridian in this direction. Now you rotate at 90 degree and put the axis of the cylinder in the same direction. This is very important in the retinoscopy. Now neutralize in this direction. As you neutralize, you can check in all meridian whether the eye is neutralized or not. This is called as the cylindrical, cylindrical finding of the retinoscopy. Now we will learn how to document the uh, this power in the retinoscopy. First, we have to write OD. Now, for example, you have the findings cylindrical plus 0.25 at 140. You have to write here uh, cylinder plus 0 0.25 at 180 degree and cylinder plus 3.75 left spherical. Now simply you have to reduce the working distance but the important point is in this we reduce working distance only from the sphere not from the cylinder only from the sphere not from the cylinder so uh, while reducing the 3.75 we reduce working distance and of the uh, 66 centimeter my hand so it is 1.50 as we learned in the previous video so it become uh, 2.75 no, sorry 1.75 so the working distance this is our gross this is our net so the net power is 1.75 plus 1.75 plus 0.25 cylinder at 180 degree. But as you see, the cylinder is in plus, but we can't give in the plus power, so we have to transpose it into the cylinder. The next. This is our net retinoscopic value, so we have to transpose because of the plus cylinder, we have to convert it to negative. Simple the step is first change the sign of the cylinder, here is plus, we have to minus 0 0.25 into. 90 degree minus from the 180 degree or plus you have 90 degree minus whatever the axis for example axis is 140 we have to reduce the 90 from it and you have to here now we have to simply plus these powers for spare and slender plus 1.75 plus 0 0.25 Simply we have to run, we have to simple plus, whether here is, if for example here is minus, you have to put minus here, but plus minus minus. Simply we have to learn, we have to plus this, plus plus 1.75 plus 0.25 is equal to the plus 2. So the final power is plus 2 diopter spherical minus 0.25 cylinder into this is our final value of the retinoscopic net value. So this is about the cylindrical finding of the retinoscopy. Now we take the second example. For example, you neutralize the spare, spare meridian at plus 1.50 and uh, you find the cylindrical uh, plus 0. 50 at uh, for example 130 this is your gross value now simply we have to reduce the distance from sphere 
from square not from cylinder so what we have to reduce is our working distance that is 1.5 so if you reduce 1.5 from 1.5 you will find the plano here so plano with plus 0 0.50 cylinder and 130 axis this is our net working surface now cylinder is in plus power simply we have to transpose it into the negative cylinder so what we have to do just simply change the sign plus so here minus 0 0.50 cylinder and reduce 90 degree from the axis so this become uh, 0 40 degree 40 degree and simply plus so here is plane plane of means 0 0 plus 0 0.50 is equal to 0 0.50 diopters radical this is our final prescription 0 plus 0 0.50 diopters radical and minus 0 0.50 cylindrical and then 40 degree so this is example for the cylindrical finding in the retinoscopy now we have few things more for example if you see the keratoconus patient keratoconus for example patient is keratoconus keratoconus means simply the cornea is bulged out or it becomes cone shaped this is keratoconic keratoconus cornea and this is our normal cornea now when you put the uh, slit on the keratoconic patient eye you found the reflex like this you put the slit here and you see the this type of the reflex this is known as the scissor reflex this is called as scissor reflex this is the main sign of the keratoconus patient what we see in the keratoconus patient eye we see the scissor reflex this is known as the scissor reflex and one more thing is here if you put the slit on the patient's eye you put the slit here and you see a break here a break like this here this is also known as the neutral this is called as neutral break if you Scissor reflex is different, you see like the scissor and in this you simply find the break for example like the reflex is fixed somewhere and only from one side you, it is fixed and another side it is break this is known as break or the neutral point so this is all we here we cover the most of the part of the retinoscopy if you have any doubt you can comment